Hello everyone. Welcome to Dental Digest with the Study Boards. This is Dr. Trehan and today we are diving into an important topic in oral pathology for viral infections, specifically focusing on herpes simplex virus or HSV. So let's get started and break down everything you need to know for this topic. So we are going to break down this topic into five key areas. First of all, we will explore the types and mode of transmission. Then we will go through clinical features and oral manifestations. And after that, we will discuss how the virus tends to recur, followed by the treatment options. And finally, we will wrap it up with possible complications that can arise. So let's begin by taking a closer look at the types and mode of transmission. Now, herpes simplex virus is divided into two main types. HSV1, which is the primary cause of oral infections, like cold sores and HSV2, which is commonly associated with genital infections. Now, both these types are highly contagious and they can be transmitted through direct contact with infected body fluids or sores. And for oral transmission, simple actions like kissing or sharing utensils can spread the virus. On the other hand, genital transmission occurs through sexual contact. Now, let's look into the clinical features and oral manifestations of HSV. Starting with primary herpetic gingivostomatitis. Now, this is normally seen in children during the first encounter with the virus. It presents a very painful ulcer that appears in the mouth or on the gingiva and the tongue. And fortunately, it's self-limiting, meaning it clears up on its own. But in recurrent cases, the virus tends to re-emerge on the keratinized tissues only. This is an exam question. And this includes two key presentations. First of all, herpes labialis, more commonly known as cold sores. And these are small painful blisters that usually form on the lips around the mouth, especially near the vermilion border. And secondly, we have intraoral herpes, which affects the attached gingiva and the hard palate, both keratinized areas inside the mouth. Now, before these blisters make an appearance, many patients experience prodromal symptoms like burning or tingling in the affected area. And this is an early warning sign of the outbreak. And lastly, both primary and recurrent infections may be accompanied by other symptoms like you may have fever, malaise and painful swallowing. Now let's talk about the recurrence part, which is a defining feature of HSV infections. Now after the initial infection, the virus doesn't just disappear, it lies dormant in the trigeminal ganglion, waiting for right conditions to reactivate. This is an exam question. And the viral reactivation can be triggered by multiple factors like stress, illnesses, sun exposure, or even weakened immune system. And when it comes to frequency, it's different for everyone. Now, some individuals may face frequent outbreaks throughout the year, and while others may have very few or even none at all. Now, let's understand the treatment options that we have for HSV infections. But first of all, understand that there is no definitive cure for HSV. And various treatments that are being given, they are merely given to manage the outbreaks. Now, for primary infections in children, the focus is mostly the supportive care. This includes you are giving pain relief through analgesics, cold compresses, and maintaining good hydration, which is very important for children. And when it is coming to recurrent infections, you have to give antiviral medications like acyclovir, valcyclovir, which are commonly used. And these medications can significantly reduce the duration and severity of symptoms. Now, for maximum effectiveness, they must be taken early, ideally during the prodromal period. And in some cases, these antivirals can be prescribed even as a suppressive therapy to reduce the frequency of future outbreaks. Now, let's look into some possible complications that are associated with HSV infections. While most herpes infections, they are manageable, but complications can still occur. Now, one of the important ones to remember for your exam is herpetic whitlow, which is when the virus infects the finger. And it is going to be quite painful and it often affects healthcare workers who are exposed to the virus. Now, the second complication that you have to remember is herpes keratitis. And this is an eye infection that can cause corneal damage. And if it is left untreated, it may even lead to vision loss. Now, in some rare cases, HSV can lead to herpes encephalitis, which is an infection of the brain. And this can be a life-threatening situation that requires immediate attention. 
Now we also have herpes gladiolatum, commonly seen in athletes involved in contact sports like wrestling, where frequent skin-to-skin -skin contact is happening, and this typically affects the head and neck region of wrestlers. And finally, HSV can also trigger arrhythmia multiforme, which is a hypersensitivity reaction causing skin rashes. Now immediately, a smart student will recall that okay, arrhythmia multiforme is associated with that of target lesions. So this is important. Now let's wrap up the key points that we have studied so far. So first one is, there are two types of HSV. HSV1, which causes oral infections, and HSV2, which is responsible for genital infections. Now the virus is transmitted through direct skin-to-skin -skin contact with body fluids or either orally or sexually. And oral manifestations include herpetic gingivostomatitis and cold sores. Recurrences are common because the virus resides in trigeminal ganglion, which could be triggered by multiple reasons like stress, illnesses, weakened immune system, and then antiviral medications are available to manage these symptoms. Lastly, we talked about how there could be some complications. We talked about herpetic whitlow, herpes keratitis, herpes encephalitis, and we have understood all of this. Thank you so much for watching this video. Now, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more content. Remember to keep working hard and keep rocking. I'll see you in the next one.